let me start by saying thank you for being patient through these sort of every other day uploads while I've been here in Japan. And let me also say thank you for being patient as I got to this news that came out a couple days ago. The news, though, was kind of confusing for a lot of people. Originally, it was worded differently and then got updated. So basically, Niantic announced a way to guarantee lucky Pokemon trades. Unfortunately, it only works if you or your trading partner have received less than 10 lucky Pokemon from trades. So this is obviously a move, a feature designed to entice older players to come back to the game, or rather to have current players tell their friends who stopped playing, hey, there's this great new feature, can you just bring some of your old Pokemon over here and we can trade? It's a fun way for people to get their friends to come back to the game to help them catch up. Obviously, if you can guarantee lucky Pokemon, uh, you can trade your friends some newer Pokemon, some meta-relevant Pokemon, so they can have strong Pokemon and catch up a little quicker, and you can guarantee that those Pokemon are lucky. So the way it works is if either player in the trade has received less than 10 lucky Pokemon, then trading a Pokemon from July or August 2016 will guarantee a lucky Pokemon. Another clarification is that the Pokemon from July or August 2016 needs to come from the player with less than 10 lucky Pokemon. So whatever friend you're bringing back to the game or whatever friend you're uh, exploiting their account for lucky Pokemon, that account with less than 10 luckies needs to be the one to trade the old Pokemon. Along with this, lucky Pokemon were also buffed in that the base IVs, the lowest IVs that a lucky Pokemon can have now, is 12-12-12. It used to be 10-10-10, like eggs, raid bosses, uh, research rewards, but now lucky Pokemon will have guaranteed IVs of 12 or higher, which means the lowest they can possibly have is 80%, and it gives you a 1 in 64 chance of getting a perfect 15-15-15 a 100% IV Pokemon from a lucky trade. 1 in 64 is the best odds we've ever had at getting 100% Pokemon. The Silf Research Group has been working on a study uh, on the odds of finding lucky Pokemon. They're publishing results on that pretty soon. Again, Niantic did just kind of update the system, but this will give us a good idea of uh, how the mechanics have been working with lucky Pokemon prior to this. So keep an eye on the Silf Road subreddit or on Twitter. They're going to post those results soon, and that should give us a, a, a better idea of how odds work when it comes to lucky Pokemon. Now, the rest of this video takes place before this guaranteed lucky Pokemon update, but it includes two of my best trades ever in Pokemon Go. Like, the craziest, most unexpected, best trades I've ever done in this game. Enjoy. Famous Kinshicho Station, where I've actually been before. Hence the spun Poke stops. Me and my friends stayed around here when I was out in April. I actually lost a shiny Swablu here. That never made it into a video because I was kind of sad about it. It's Reversal's first time here. He's been excited about coming here for a long time. It's one of the most popular grinding spots in Japan. Yes, all kinds of shiny checks just despawning before my eyes as I explain what's going on. But the plan tonight is to meet up with Brandon Tan, King, and a few of the uh, really high-level Japanese players. So it should be an interesting night. But Brandon's here, but even more important, Auntie Gladys is here too. Hi! And now we're finally actually friends. Yes, we are, finally. So you said you just hit 300 million. 300 million XP. Congratulations. Thank you. Hard work though. 
Hard work, yeah, yeah, yes. I'm sure. I'm sure. But it's fun. Of course it is. <laughs> One, three. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, I, I better accept this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> accept this. Oh. <laughs> 168 requests. Just like me. T, 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 T. I need to change my name. Yeah, I want to change the one in front. Yep. You know, anything. Anything. Weedle. Yeah. Weedle, okay. At least you can evolve. evolve. Yep. Maybe I have a Pidgey for you. Okay, good. Pidgey. Comfort. Oh, from Ireland. <laughs> I don't know why. I have a Pidgey from Ireland. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yes. I'm going to end up with a lucky Weedle. Maybe. Are we? I don't know. Are we? I haven't gotten a lucky trade in two weeks. Oh no. But I got it. Evolve. Once I put a lucky egg on, I don't have one on right now. I'm so not good at friends. Yeah, the fact that we're actually work. not friends. It's like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's add, add each other. Yeah, let's do let's it. Let's take advantage of the okay. new QR system. So, King and I have had this trade planned for I don't know how long. For a while. For a while. Since you tweeted it out. Since I asked for a shiny Magby and said I might be willing to do the trade. He's like, yeah, I got you. Yeah. How many do you have, actually? I have two. Okay, okay. I have two. So it's but not I would like... trade it anyways. So. Okay. So we've been talking about this since before Pokemon Go Fest. Mm -hmm. And and we just now became friends, so we probably could have gotten the cost down a little bit. Yep. If, if we had planned ahead, or if I had, you know, tried a little harder. Double, du uh, triple dust is coming. Yep. Yeah. So I'll we'll make, make it up. I'll we'll make it up we'll right up here on the first day. Yeah. King, by the way, is you're the XP leader in in the, the Americas. Americas. In the Americas. Yeah. 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 Toronto runs a, a tight community up there. Absolutely. You guys, do you guys have yeah. the? raid record right now? Te technically we did the most with the maps, but Kansas City actually did more when it was Articuno. Okay. They did okay. Uh, 139 and we've done 132. Wow. So, That's but we're, insane. We're, we're looking to beat that record on Moultra's Day. Yeah, we're yeah. aiming for 150 that day, so we'll see how it goes. That's crazy. I'm, I'm sure you can do it. Many people have asked me for this yeah, magazine. Have they? Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate you holding on to it for me. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, so uh, <laughs> how much how much start is here? Four mil. Four mil. So it's like you, you've been grinding. Yeah, yeah. Right? I've been saving it, knowing that uh, this is gonna take a big chunk, and I'm gonna look at it and go, oh, I miss four mil. You've got okay. everything. Okay, there's yeah. a couple things that that I want. So okay, I don't have a good Sneasel. Sneasel. Sneasel okay. Right. Uh, good for Weavile in the future. Right. I do Correct. a lot of like. 18 unique, a bunch of different challenges. Yes, so you do. You Weavile's do. Like very okay. high attack stat. Could be very I have, relevant. I have some, Any of some them. high level ones. Any of them. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Wow, Sneasel. I don't have a good one. Do you, even, male, even the, female, does it matter? Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Wow. Can you try this? Yep. One mil dust. Definitely take a screenshot of that. How much dust do you have? I have 14.7. Right 14.7 14 mil. So this doesn't hurt you as much yeah. as it hurts me. I'll be over 20 by the end of the uh, Dusted. Yeah. So, All right. So we're ready. Good yep. luck. Mm -hmm. Or unless, unless you want a lucky one, we trade something old. Shiny. It's already shiny. So it's, it's already shiny. shiny. Yeah. So it's not a big and deal. I'll be honest, I haven't gotten a lucky trade in the last like two and a half weeks. Okay. okay. So. Okay. Well, now is a good time to deliver. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. A million dust. A million dust. One million dust. Bye bye. Stardust event starts and yeah. you know. 12, 15 something hours, Somewhere. a few hours from now. Oh, shiny Magby. Yes. Good. It came out pretty decent. Pretty decent as well? Yeah. Okay. Right. Got the trade. Are you going to keep it as a shiny Magby? Or are you going to evolve it to I Magmar? Don't I don't know. Magmortar I think gonna, in the future. Yeah, I'll see how Magmortar ends up, you know, what, what kind of moves it well, gets. Well, now, if you, get, if you encounter someone else with a shiny Magby, yes. it's not going to be a million best. Right, right. So Just, if anyone else has a shiny Magby, they want to donate to my collection. Yeah. I've broken well, the seal on technically it. Technically, you need two more. Yes. For the future, right, for, if you want yep. a living deck. Well, thank, thank, you thank you very much so for much. the trade. I'm glad we finally pulled it off. All right, thank you. Yes. yes. Appreciate sure. it, man. No problem. Now we took care. Hello. The total XP in the room between this table and the other table is four billion three hundred million. So, in conscious, right? That's a lot of XP. Wow. I didn't contribute much to that, but I, I, that, not much of that is mine. But.
cheers to these legends. How many people do we have out here? Cameras out. No, no, no. Cameras out. Cameras, Cameras out. Hello there. No camera. I'm just gonna let everyone finish their sentences. And I'll explain. So we're at, at dinner with the, with the like everyone really. A lot of people, uh, players in the Japanese community, and just a wild tyrannitar for whatever reason. I wish I wish I was recording when we realized it because that was the loudest room of Japanese people I've ever heard. It's this is worth using my silver pineapple berry. My one silver pineapple berry I will use on this wild tyrannosaur. Oh, that was a terrible throw. Yeah, if you were oh okay, so much for my silver pineapple. I just go in. Hit it with the gold. What are you naming it? Uh, Got it. Oh, ten berries. I finally finished the Growlithe quest I picked up yesterday. Bangidas. Bangidas. Did I spell it correct? Bangidas? Bangidas. Yes. I got it. Okay. Cool. Let's see. There's so many shop in here too. Oh wait, I gotta shiny check that Growlithe quest I just finished. Oh. Oh my gosh. Anyway, back to the food. It's midnight, and we're all squeezing in special trades because our last train is at 12.10. So oh, here we go. Trade. Special trade. Oh, special Find trade. a partner, swing them round and round, whatever you need to do. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so the trade is Heracross for shiny Articuno with Hurricane. Because I, I uh, confirm, confirm, yep. Yeah, because I kind of undersold myself earlier on the uh, question mark unknown. So, now. <laughs> His face. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, okay. It's gonna be the Hera Cross. Uh, uh, okay, I'll send you my biggest one, dude. Counter, close combat. For. Oh! Shiny Articuno with Hurricane. Con community Day Articuno. Yep. Hey. Yes. Yes. For Heracross. It's serious. It's real. This is a uh, highest XP in Japan? No, two. Uh, second. Number second. Two. Number three in the world. Second. Number three in the world in XP. Oh, 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 shiny! Oh, oh, lucky, 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 lucky! Yay! You got a lucky one! Oh my god! Oh, oh. Lucky, shiny, Articuno with Hurricane. And battle with the best one. Attack? Okay. Wow. Arigato gozaimasu. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Good trade. Train leaves in six minutes. He's so Last happy. train. Six minutes. Iki my show. I just want to close this one out by saying that the trading system has been amazing with international travel. I've spent the summer traveling around to a few different countries, uh, being at places like Pokemon Go Fest where players are coming from international countries, and trading has really brought this community together on a global scale. I've been to Japan four times now. Four times I've been to Japan, three times for Pokemon Go events. And this is the first time that I've really spent this much quality time or like face-to-face -face, done this much interaction with Japanese Pokemon trainers. I've talked about this before with raids where the kind of culture here in Japan is to just show up, do the raid, and then 
go your separate ways. There's not a whole lot of interaction, especially with foreign players. In Japan, English is not very commonly spoken by Japanese people, so there's sort of that barrier on top of the cultural barrier of not really approaching strangers to, to start a conversation. But with trading, with trading being in Pokemon Go during this trip to Japan, it's the most I've ever talked to Japanese players. It's the most I've ever been approached by Japanese players. At the event in Yokosuka, there were people with signs waiting at the subway station, at the train stations, with signs, signs that showed all the regional Pokemon they were looking for. Uh, I was approached by so many people asking if I had Tauros, if I had Heracross, if I had Relicanth. So in a way, trading has kind of caused this shift in the Pokemon Go culture here in Japan. And the game has sort of helped us transcend these language barriers and, and have a way to open up and interact with people, even if we don't speak the same language. I just think that's that's a really cool thing that I've noticed that's been different on this trip compared to my previous trips to Japan. So with that said, uh, Moltres Day is tomorrow here in Japan. I'm going to be joining up with the other YouTubers. Uh, we won't be with the more hardcore Japanese players. I think they're renting a car and doing raids by car. Reversal will be with them. So if you want to see what it's like to raid with the hardcore players here in Japan, you can go check that out on Reversal's channel. But we will be doing, hopefully, more raids than we've done on any previous Legendary Day, and we will be with some Japanese players. So stay tuned for that, since I am in the earliest time zone here. I'm gonna try to get that Moltres Day video out before Moltres Day even starts in the US. Hopefully, I can get it out uh, around the time it starts in Europe, or soon, shortly thereafter, I don't know. I've never been this early to a Legendary Day before, so. I'm kind of excited about it. Stay tuned. Ultra Stay, coming soon. I'll see you then.